In this video, we are going to show you how to create your vertical and horizontal grids in the Steel Auto Drafter within STAD Pro Connect Edition. To edit your grids, you're going to go up to your ribbon toolbar and select your grids icon within the edit group of tools. Now the grid manager is used to select which plan grids and elevation marks are going to be displayed on the structure, as well as in generated drawings. Now we're going to notice that automatically the Steel Auto Drafter has provided some grid coordinates which basically correspond with our column locations. So we're going to verify these to make sure that they are appropriate for us and we can edit them or modify them as need be. So along my X direction, I'm going to use my letter grid designation. So I'll go A, B, C, D, and E. Those again are corresponding with my column locations, which look appropriate to me. Along the Z direction, which is my other horizontal direction, I'll go with grid one, two, and three at those locations. And then I need some elevation marks. Now the program hasn't automatically entered these um, for me, so I'm going to go ahead and um, enter them in. Now knowing where your floor levels are before you get to this point or your column locations would be helpful as you're selecting um, the appropriate location for your grids. So I'm going to call mine first, first floor at zero at eight foot two. I'm going to call this second floor. At 19 foot 8 is my third floor. And at 32 foot 2 is my roof elevation. Now I've chosen to enter my roof elevation at my lowest level of my sloping roof, roof system. Now if everything in the grid manager looks good for you, we'll go ahead and click the OK checkbox. Now those grid locations will be showing up on our plans, which is helpful, but they're also going to be used when we go to generate our plan and section drawing. So it is important to kind of finish that step before moving on to generate any drawings. Now if we, you wish to see your grid locations on your 3D plan, you're going to make sure that this view grids or show grids icon is selected. If you would like to turn them off for clarity, you can also turn them off in your layout area. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.